Hi, today I'm going to show you how to paint a rounded drywall corner. Number one, make sure your surface is clean. So just take a dry rag and just kind of wipe this corner down as well as the baseboards or any crown molding up at the ceiling that butt up against the drywall corners. The second thing is that you're going to need some blue painter's tape. Now, the bigger your drywall corner, the wider you want the paint to be. If you're a messy painter, I recommend getting a wider tape. If you're a pretty careful painter, you can use the narrower tape like I'm about to show you. One thing I recommend when you're making your painter's tape line is not to use one long strip of tape from top to bottom. What happens when you do that is that your line tends to not be perfectly straight. So I recommend using smaller pieces of tape and taping them individually as you go down the wall. The shorter the pieces of tape you use, the easier they are to adjust to make sure that you have a perfectly straight line. So let's do that right now. And what I suggest is getting a piece of tape that's about 6 to 12 inches long to get you started. Now what you're going to try to do is line the edge of this tape right down the middle of that rounded drywall corner. So what I want to do is have the bulk of the painter's tape on the beige side because I want the clean edge on my gray side. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. And you can eyeball this fairly easily if you take your time. Continue this process all the way down your drywall corner using pieces that are 6 to 12 inches long and again firmly pressing on that edge every time. As you put on additional pieces of tape you're going to want to step back, eyeball it and make sure that your line looks fairly straight from far away so that line is really nice and perfect. Now we've got our entire blue paint line from top to bottom ready to go. I've eyeballed it, it looks fairly straight from top to bottom, I've adjusted pieces where I need to, and now I'm ready to paint. I recommend using a one inch angled brush for doing your rounded drywall corner work. It gives you a little bit more control over the paint and helps prevent that bleed through to give you that nice clean line. So your technique is going to be that you're going to paint sideways from on the painter's tape across to the area that you want painted. What this is going to do is prevent that paint from bleeding underneath the painter's tape. Make sure you're getting all of the paint coverage you need right next to the, the line of tape. You don't want to brush up and down because again the paint can bleed through and you don't want to brush from the side you're about to paint over onto the painter's tape because again that can bleed through as well. So you just take your time getting this all covered really really well. And it's okay if it gets a little bit messy on your tape. After you've painted over your tape line then you can come back with your roller and cover the remaining areas of the side of the wall that you're painting. Make sure that the roller doesn't go over the painter's tape, the edge of the painter's tape. Um, just get as close to it as you can and overlap from where you painted with your one inch brush. When you're done rolling, leave the painter's tape on the wall until all of the paint is completely dry. Otherwise, you risk having bleed marks. When your paint is completely dry, you can slowly remove the painter's tape to reveal a very nice, very clean, straight line.